Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect to SQL Server instance by using Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication. So think about a Windows Authentication first. You just join a firm or a company and then they created your user account and uh, within their domain by using Active Directory and when you go to the work uh, and they provide you laptop or desktop uh, you use that uh, username and password and connect or log into that uh, computer once you are logged into that computer now the second thing what you are going to do as a SQL Server developer or a DBA you are going to open SSMS uh. Now think your SSMS is open and uh, you got the list of SQL Server instances from your manager and say, he say you are all good to go and connect to the SQL Server instances. Now you are going to go to the connector and uh, then uh, there you will be going to the database engine. Here you will be providing the SQL Server instance name. So think about that this is named SQL Server instance and uh, you provide that information then here in the authentication uh, you have Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication. If uh, they, they have given you permission uh, as a Windows authentication user uh, they have created your AD a user and then they have provided you permission you are good to go you do not have to change anything here so whatever the username and password you use to log into your machine that could be laptop or the uh, desktop that same username and password will be used to connect to the SQL Server instance let's hit connect and now we see that you are connected let's go to security and see if my login is there in this case if you see here Amir PC backslash Amir dash my login and it is there so I have the permission so in your case most of the companies they use Windows authentication once you get to your uh, computer login open your SSMS and then connect to your SQL Server instance you don't have to change anything as your Windows uh, username and password what they have uh, configured in Active Directory will be used uh, to connect to the SQL Server instance. If you get some error you can send that error to your DBAs and they can give you permission. Next part if uh, let's say they have given you the uh, they will say okay we do not use uh, uh, Windows authentication we use SQL Server authentication so you have to use uh, SQL Server authentication and you need a login and password so how the DBS will create that for you they will log into this uh, uh, instance uh, they will connect to this one they will go to security and here they will be creating a new login for you so let's say they will create a login called SQL Server authentication login name is uh, let's say they will call it test and the password is the test one two three test one two three now we are not changing any password on uh, when you log in and all that so and uh, let's go to the server roles and they made you sys admin so you can do anything on this data then this uh, sql server instance uh, hit ok and now test uh, login is created now disconnect this one now you are connecting uh, to, uh, you logged into your machine now you open SSMS and uh, then you want to log into this uh, SQL Server instance uh, by using that uh, SQL Server authentication username and password uh, so you you will select SQL Server authentication uh, you will uh, provide the login that's test uh, and provide that password that's test one two three in our case and you will connect uh, and you, now you will be able to connect to SQL Server instance you will see right here your username uh, again the SQL server has to be installed in mix mode to work with the Windows authentication and uh, with the SQL server authentication so to take a look on the SQL server you need to go to the properties of SQL server and go to the advanced uh, let me see where sorry in the security that's where you need to go and see if the SQL server uh, has that setting SQL server and Windows authentication mode so if that's uh, just in Windows authentication mode, you will not be able to log in uh, 
to the SQL Server instance by using a SQL Server login and password. So most of the companies where I had been working, they've been using a Windows authentication and some places, uh, let's say you are coming for one day or two days and you need only to connect to SQL Server to some part of that, they might create a SQL Server login for you so you can use that. So there are two ways to connect to SQL Server with Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication. Good luck and I will see you guys in the next video. Video.